Phew, I drank too much. It's just barely before midnight. It's a bit late, but I think I'll take a shower and study. Mm. Oh, it's Marika. Still working? Just got home. Great job working so late. I got a little caught up talking with my clients. But it was fun. I really feel like I've got to make a good home for them now. Really? That's great. Are you going to sleep now then? I'm gonna study a bit, then sleep. I need to make up for the time I lost today. Don't worry about that, okay? I'm fine with Lime and you call me lots. I'm not lonely because I know you love me. So she says. But I still want to see her face. Oh, I know. Hey, can I face talk you right now? Huh? Sure, but I don't know if I'll be able to do it. We added the app together, didn't we? I'll try it. Okay, just give me 10 minutes. I'll get ready. I wonder if it'll work. I wait for a while, like she says. I start up the app. After the connection sound plays for a bit. Oh! An image appears on the screen. I didn't think the quality would be this good. Recent smartphones sure are impressive. Good evening, Marika. Mm-hmm, not at all. I can only see your forehead. There we go. See how the camera is up at the top of the phone? That's where you need to center your face. And you're moving off screen again. Isn't there a smaller screen toward the bottom? You can see your own face in that one. What are you apologizing for? You look the same as always. It's not like you wear that much usually anyway though. What are you talking about? You're always cute, Marika. You are very welcome. <laughs> but that voice. さっきまでスピンだからどうしようって大騒ぎしてたじゃない。マスクして風邪ひいちゃったことにしようかなんて言って。こっちの話は気にしないでいいから。ほら、お母さん、明日早いんでしょ。もう寝ちゃった方がい
I'll never get tired of seeing her like this. Yeah, I did. I went out for a drink with Ono-san. He is the client I was talking about before. It was his treat. Yeah, way better than I expected. The plan worked out great. Both Ono-san and his wife were satisfied. They were all for our plan by the end of the meeting. This is all thanks to you too. <laughs> no, it's cause you were there for me. I just can't help but let myself get too invested in one way of thinking when it's just me. Maybe it's just a guy thing. But a lot of the time it's the woman that watches over the house. I realized that after what you said. Thanks. Great job, Marika. I kinda wanna do something to thank you. Yeah, anything's fine. It can be food, or if you want something. Course. Uh, now? Through the screen? No, it's not. Not weird at all. Cause I wanna kiss you too, Marika. Yeah, let's kiss. Come on, bring your lips this way. We're gonna match the timing up. Mm. Marika, your forehead again. You gotta make sure you point them toward the camera, all right? Okay, here we go. Mm. How was that? Uh, well, yeah, that makes sense. Marika. Me too. It's weird. My heart feels all full now. I bet tomorrow's gonna be a good day. Oh no, I'm sure it does. Hey Marika, when I see you next time, can I kiss you directly? They'd be moving a bit fast, yeah. So, so mm, but I'm definitely gonna pass that exam this month. So I don't say anything more. She understands exactly what I mean. You sure? You're not lonely? Oh. Man, all I ever do is make you wait for me, huh? She smiles jokingly. But she's telling the truth. And that's why I gotta get to her as soon as I can. It'll be for just a little longer, so wait for me, okay? It's Sunday, July 31st. And so it's finally the day of the architect exam. She's asking me a bunch of questions while we wait for the bus. Yeah, I'm good. Thanks for all this. She came over early in the morning to worry over me. 
She's even come out to see me off on the bus to the exam hall. Yeah, I've already done everything I can. I started studying bit by bit with this exam in mind ever since I started working at the Azuma architectural firm. I'm nervous, of course, but I already know I've done what I can. If anything, I'm calm and composed. Ah, <laughs> yeah, I do. Don't worry. Oh, there's the bus. I can see it driving up. It's right on time. Seems like a good omen. Oh, actually, I did forget one thing. My other good luck charm from you. She smiles a little shyly. And... Mm. I feel something soft on my lips for an instant. Marika's lips. She's looking down at the ground before me, bright red. Yeah, thanks. That just happens to be when the bus doors open. Yeah, I'm going. She waves her hand as hard as she can to see me off. Seeing her do that blows away the last drags of my nervousness. I'm gonna pass, I swear! It's Sunday, August 7th. Hmm. I'm stuck hmming to myself before this envelope. I just can't bring myself to open it. That's right, the results of the first class exam finally arrived. Actually, they arrived yesterday. But I just couldn't open the envelope. What if I failed? I can also check my results online, but I haven't done that either out of fear. I know I was confident about having done everything I can when I took the exam, but now that the results are before me, I can't help but feel scared. I guess I'll look at it after I get home today. Today is Tanabata. It's the day where the city lights up brighter than any other time of year. I can already feel the joyous atmosphere of the Tanabata festival outside. I've also made plans with Marika for us to go out on a date. It's our first date in honestly forever with all the studying I've been doing. Marika should be here soon. But I'm sure the mood would be dismal if I found out I had failed the exam. They'll ruin the date. So I'll look at it after our date today. Oh, she's here. I'll open it in just a second. She comes in right away. We are spending the whole day together today. That's why she's in her casual clothes instead of a yukata. Uh, what? Is it? I think I'm the same as usual. Looks like Marika's figured it already from my demeanor. Hmm, yeah, it is. It's, uh, the results of the exam last week. Well, actually, I haven't opened it yet. It's fine. I'll look at it once I get home today. You know, cause today's Tanabata. So, um, if I... She then swiftly opens the envelope and takes out the contents. Hey, wait a... <laughs> what? S seriously? <laughs> she shows me the paper that was inside. She's right. It says pass on it. Oh man, I passed. I almost crumple onto the ground out of relief. 
And man, I was worried about this since yesterday, but Marika resolved it in just a few seconds. Women sure are strong in times like these. Yeah, thanks, but there's still the drafting exam, so I can't be too happy yet. Well, yeah, I'm confident, but... Marika gives me her seal of approval and looks me right in the eye without even a hint of doubt. Her unconditional belief in me is heartening. Thanks, I'll do my best, but let's just forget about exams for today and have fun. Yeah, it is. We walk through our alma mater for the first time in forever. It's the exact same nostalgic place. It's already been more than six years since we graduated. Time sure flies. What? Six years already? I thought it was three years. Hm. Marika smiles as she watches all the uniform-wearing students walk by. You could definitely still pull off the uniform, Marika. <laughs> I'm sure of it. That Alice style outfit from before looked really good on you too. She's bright red. I really do think she could still pull it off. She's right, it says so on a sign at the entrance to the classroom. So they really are still doing it. The location's different since the old school building got torn down, but the actual display is still here. Look, it says it's a collaboratory effort between the naturalist and astronomy clubs. Kinda makes you happy to see this, huh? Our stargazing aquarium was apparently popular enough that it's become a staple display in the years since. I hear the astronomy and naturalist clubs are both full of members now. A female student walks up to us while we are standing around by the entrance and gestures us inside. Thank you. Are you in the astronomy club or the naturalist club? Yeah, I wasn't in either of those clubs, but I did help them out a bit. Yeah, it was. It started while I was around. I specifically don't say I was involved with starting it. It'd be kind of embarrassing to say that we were the ones that thought of the idea in the first place. え、そうなんだ。元々星が好きだったっていうのもあったんですけど、私と同世代の人たちがこんなにすごいもの作ったんだってそう思ったら感動しちゃって。私も絶対やってみたいって。Wow, really? I can't stop myself from grinning. They'll think I'm weird if I'm too smiley. What? It's that good? Now that's amazing. Uh, never mind. Okay, then we'll definitely have to see it. Can we go in? Marika still looks entranced. But it really was a stunning night sky. The things that we made are still being used. I got a bit emotional. What? We made a place for them? 
たくさんの思い出を作れる場所だってあそこにいた子たちみんなキラキラしてたもの Now that she mentions it, they did look really happy. The things we left behind, that place, is serving a role like that. I feel something surge up in my chest at the thought. Yeah. I recall those letters from the graduating students in the old school building. All of those letters spelling out the golden years of their life here at this school left in that broken locker. All of their memories glittered like gold. I wonder if the things we left behind are helping create those glittering memories. I want to create places like that for lots more people from now on. I want to help them that way. I genuinely, honestly think so. And. Oh no, it's nothing. And more than anything, I wish from the bottom of my heart that I can be a place where the person most important to me can be happy. I hear something that sounds like someone's hitting a big drum in the sky. And after a slight delay, a huge flower blooms. It's the climax of the festival, the fireworks. A smile blooms on Marika's face with every flower that blooms in the sky. It was definitely a good idea to come over here. There are other spots with a better view, but those places are way too crowded. It's hard to even move about like a fully packed train. We've moved away from the commotion a little further away. There's hardly anyone else here. It's a little known place that we've managed to find only because we are so familiar with this area. <laughs> She shows me a cheerful smile. She leans against me. <laughs> She entrusts her weight to me and smiles like a kid. Her comfortable weight fills up my heart. And it also strengthens my thoughts. I want to be the one to make the place that's important to her. I want to become that place. Marika, I want to talk about something. More drum beats in the sky. It seems weirdly fast paced. No, I'm hearing this sound from inside myself. My heart suddenly starts to beat frantically as if it's only just now remembered it needs to beat. <laughs> Marika's expression also turns serious. She must have picked up on my nervousness. She pulls away and turns toward me. Well, it's about the, the architect exam. I've only passed the subject portion so far, and I've still got the drafting exam, but I'll pass that for sure too. I'll definitely get first class qualifications. <laughs> And I'm sure I'll get more things to do once I've got that, and my pay will go up too. I'm still a novice, but I think that'll help me take the next step forward. <laughs> I can't really save up now, and all I've been doing is causing you trouble, but I'll make you happy from now on, so. <laughs> so, once I pass the first class architect exam, when I pass, I can't seem to say those important words. My heart feels like it might give out. But I muster my courage and say the words. I want us to get married. I wring the words out of me. Another firework explodes in the sky at that exact moment. It lights up the area, illuminating Marika within the darkness. <laughs> What? I ask on reflex. Her response was just so casual. Y you sure? <laughs> really? <laughs> Her eyes begin to glisten. T 
tears. Marika. Same for me. I'll also be in your care. <laughs> we stiffly lower our heads back and forth. We both laugh when we realize how ridiculous we must look. <laughs> I swear I'll pass the exam. I'll definitely make you happy. <laughs> I grip Marika's hand. It's wet from wiping her tears. I feel like just doing that's enough to fill my entire body with happiness. The drafting exam I'll definitely have to pass. <laughs>